in Scatter Geo 1.2 added density map and sample color from texture features. So the scattering is not limited from vertices and faces only. This helps placing instances easier to control and more organic. This feature supported single UV tile or UDM Geo. Also supports the existing rotation type, look at axis or camera, and normal rotation. Supported with any Nuke's native 3D nodes. Let's go through how it works with the tool. M Scatter Geo is using alpha of the texture as a density map. Alpha value between 0 to 1. Value will be clamped if out of the range. On the panel, select Snap Type to Density Map. I set max instances to 1000 and generate. This is the result of instances with normal rotation. This time I run with RGB color as texture. This is the result of instances with RGB color as texture. Let's do this one more time with animation. M Snap Group has a new tab, named Info. It's all the information of this group. Access tab changed the name to MISC. If using RGB color as texture, color will have an option to extract. After the extraction, you will get the selected axis and the multiply nodes for the color value. Let me extract another instance with different color. On version 1.2, add in the Remove Selected Instances button under Mies tab. Just select Unwanted Axis and click the button to remove them. I am also concerned in some cases might want to keep some of the axis and remove a huge amount of axis. So I added an Invert Selection button as well. For the huge amount of removal, it might take more time to process. Density map supported Geo with UDM. Here is a dinosaur with UDM. If you don't know what UV set of your Geo, you can use one of my tools called UV Editor to check it. This is how UDM looks like through UV Editor. And this is how a single UV tile looks like. Let me generate the UDM setup first, so I can apply or draw my density map on the Geo. Here is the UDM sequence. Let me use my dummy texture for the density map. Set the color wheel for the first tile. Checkerboard for the second tile. No density map on third tile. Put the color bar for the fourth tile. Fifth tile to use Rota Paint to paint it. No density map on sixth and seventh tiles and so on. Let's look through all the texture sequences again. As I mentioned before, the density map is using alpha. Double check if the alpha is correct. Okay, now apply this UDM texture to the geo. In Nuke, the 3D viewer cannot view UDM texture on Geo. The only way to check that is look through Scanline Render. 
everything seems all right, I start to use M Scatter Geo for scattering now. Set snap type to density map, UV to UDM, max instances to 2000, normal rotation, RGB color texture, and generate. The tool gives an option to choose what kind of UV because UDM will take a little longer. If you are sure it's a single tile, the option of single tile runs faster. It won't process the UDM check internally. If you are not sure UDM or not, select UDM would be fine too. The tool will check that for you. Let me make a sphere as instances to show you how it is the result. In this part, I am going to explain more about sample resolution. Here is my density map by a linear ramp. Resolution is 512 by 512, but sample resolution is not related to the texture resolution. Let me set max instances to 1000 and generate different sample resolution. I set sample resolution to 100 this time. Here is the result of 100. This time I set sample resolution to 500. Here is the result of 500. This time I set sample resolution to 2000. Here is the result of 2000. So you can see that they are all 1000 instances, but higher sample resolution will get more instances on semi-transparent areas. Let me explain the work behind. Let's say the texture tile size is 2048 by 2048. When setting 512 sample resolution in the tool, the mapping will unwarp to 512 by 512 for sampling in M Scatter Geo. So this value is nothing related to input texture size. Switch to a density map on UV space for further explanation. Density map is using a random sampling method after that. When the density map value is low, that will have more spacing in between instances. The spacing value is fixed in this tool. So if you increase sample resolution you can get more instances on semi-transparent areas. Density map might have different proportions on each UDM tile. The tool will check the density map area on each tile, and shrink the size of the sample area. Get the total area of all the tiles and get the proportion of sample count on each tile. So this is how the max instances value for the tool, and also lower the value will get faster processing. Let me pull out the setup I had before, and rerun the same setting as red instances. So even if it's using random sampling, the result will remain the same as before. You don't have to worry the look will change every time generated. If you want to have a different result, change the random seed. So this time has a different result. When I changed the group name to msnap group on version 1.1, I forgot to update the find unique name function. This has been fixed on version 1.2. So every time to generate a new M snap group will have a unique name now. On version 1.1 with normal rotation, the instances will have a 90 degree offset from the instance origin. This has been fixed on version 1.2. So the result will be the same as the input instance's origin. 
The last update I want to mention in this video is Snap Vertex Normal on Animated Geo. Here is the Animated Geo from 3D Software. Restored my saved vertex, select Snap on Vertices Normal and Generate. Connect with my dummy instances to check how it looks like now. So you can see the instances stick pretty well with vertices normal, but I still encounter another problem. This is the Geo Export by Nuke's procedural noise on a card. Do the same thing on this Geo. So it doesn't work on this Regio. And even the animation is strange too. So please pay attention to this if you are planning to snap on animated Geo's Vertex Normal. And feel free to let me know if you really want to get this work. I opened a YouTube channel for all my Nuke tools recently. Like it if you like it. Drop your comment or suggestions below. Hit the bell button and please subscribe. You can also like my Facebook page for some developments or message me directly there. Enjoy!